Hey, I'm Joy from Prospeo, and today we're going to see how to use LinkedIn Sales Navigator to generate leads. This guide will cover everything you need to know about the software that allows you to access a database of 930 million potential leads. LinkedIn Sales Navigator is ideal for sales, allowing you to find hundreds, if not thousands, of ultra-targeted leads. But to make the deals rain, you have to understand how to use the tool. Let's get started with the basics. So, once you're on your LinkedIn homepage, you can access Sales Navigator navigator by clicking on the top right icon. If you're not already subscribed, I recommend the basic sales navigator core plan. It is more cost effective and allows access to the database, which is 90% of the strength of sales navigator. It costs between 80 to hundred dollars, depending on your location. But in my opinion, it is totally worth it. And you're about to discover why. Anyway, there is a free month trial, so you have no excuses. Now that you're on your sales navigator home screen, the first two things you will see are the top search bar that we will use very soon and the alerts window. The alerts window is where you can see all the news regarding leads and accounts that you are following by having added them to a list. It's like your little notification hub. Oh, I almost forgot. On Sales Navigator, companies are called accounts. So this is basically a notification system that allows you to follow what is going on. This window can get a bit noisy due to useless alerts. So I recommend clicking this little settings button to filter what you think is relevant for you. The first thing I would do is to disable every email notification as I don't like to receive 10 emails a day from LinkedIn. Then just scroll down to enable or disable some alerts. It's all about setting it up to your preference. While I'm on this page, I'll take the opportunity to tell you that you you can check your plan and more info at the top of the page. For instance, you can download your invoices and check how many in-mails you have left. Here I'm using a colleague's account. As you can see, he has 149 in-mails while there are only 50 in-mails monthly on a core plan. That's simply because credits roll over, up to 150 credits. But I'll tell you more about in-mails soon. Okay, let's make our first search. We'll click on lead filters to get to the lead search page. This is where the magic happens. From this page, you can craft ultra-targeted lists with up to 36 filters. It's like having a set of precision tools for your lead generation tasks. If you don't see every filter, you can just click on this little arrow to display them. I will not mention everyone because it might take too long and I want to keep this guide straightforward. And honestly, there are some filters that you will most likely never use. I'll put a link in the description of where you can find detailed information about each filter. The main filters are company headcount, function, current job title, past job title, seniority level, geography, and industry. Using these filters, you can refine your search significantly. I'll walk you through a search and explain each filter as I go. I've often struggled with gym motivation, so imagine I designed a product named Whispers Dumbbells that gently whispers motivational quotes during your workout. That's our example for today. Now, with this innovative product, the next step is to market it. Let's use Sales Navigator to compile a list of decision makers in gyms. Initially, I'd like to target gyms in my area, as I prefer meeting my first clients face to face. So I'll set the geography filter to my area, specifically the Los Angeles metropolitan area. After applying the geography filter, I'll see the initial results. As I only put a geography filter, I'm basically seeing the number of LinkedIn users in this region, which is 9 million. Next. I'll select the wellness and fitness services in the industry filter. As you can see, the results show everything related to wellness, but I want only gyms. So I'll use the keyword search bar and enter gym. This helps to find specific keywords and profiles. This search bar also lets you use Boolean operators to target your leads with even more precision. The name is weird, but they're simple. It's basically a combination of keywords, but We'll look at them shortly. For my whispers dumbbells, I want to avoid two big companies to get started. They've got a bunch of protocols. I'm aiming for more human sized gyms that are open to chat. So I'll filter to companies with less than 50 employees using the company headcount filter. We are getting closer, but to seal the deal, I need to talk to the right person. I'll refine my search by using the seniority level filter and target the owner slash partner, CXO, director, and the vice president. After doing all that, I have 500 leads that are just right for my whispers dumbbells. I think they'll like them. I can add these leads to a list. Just click select all and click add to list. But it's a bit slow since I have to go page by page. This is handy for when you want to add leads from many searches into the same list. But here the best way is to save the search. 
Just click here to do it. Once saved, you can find it anytime in the saved searches section. It's time to delve into a powerful feature called the Boolean search. With Boolean search, you can combine keywords with operators like and, not, and or to produce more relevant results. I know it sounds hard, but it's very simple and it will allow you to narrow your search down as much as possible for the most targeted leads. Let's apply this to our Whispers Dumbbells example. Let's break it down. First, and. If you want to include multiple keywords in your search, use the AND operator. For instance, if you want to find gym decision makers who are also involved in fitness programs, you'd search for gym and fitness program. Secondly, OR. Use this operator when you want results that include one or more keywords. For instance, gym or fitness center. We'll pull profiles mentioning either gym or fitness center. The third is NOT. This operator excludes a particular keyword from your search. If you want to find gyms but not yoga studios, you'd search gym not yoga. And then you have quotation marks. Using quotes around phrases can help you find profiles that contain the exact phrase. For instance, searching for gym owner will only show profiles where those two words appear side by side. Let's apply this to our Whispers Dumbbells example. Say I want to find decision makers in gyms that either have a wellness program or are associated with fitness training but not yoga centric. My boolean search would look something like this. So I'll type in gym owner and gym and wellness program or fitness training but not yoga. With this search, Sales Navigator will pull up leads that perfectly match our criteria, ensuring our outreach is laser focused. Remember, the key to mastering Boolean search is practice. The more you play around with combinations, the better your results will be. So take some time to experiment and refine your searches. With the right Boolean commands, you can make your lead generation on Sales Navigator not only efficient, but also incredibly effective. Okay, we're almost done with the lists, but there's one last thing missing. When building your lists, you want to avoid contacting competitors, partners, and other significant figures in the industry. To prevent this, we'll create a blacklist to exclude those accounts from our lead search. To do so, just head up to the account search page. From this point, we'll be adding companies that we don't wish to engage with to our blacklist. Start by entering their names in the keyword search bar. For demonstration purposes, I'll be adding a few companies. First, I'll add my direct competitors. Like Prolong Fast, I'll need to create a new list called Blacklist and click Create and Save. Next, I'll add Still Life Incorporated and I'll add it to the same list. Next, I'll add my partners like Pro Gym Brentwood. Lastly, some gyms I'm aware of already having similar equipment and have no interest in having mine. These gyms are Armory Gym and Motion LA and I'll add them to the list. I now have my small blacklist. For this example, I've only added a few companies, but I recommend you add as many as you can. A good blacklist can contain hundreds of companies. To add my blacklist to my search, I'll return to the lead search and use the account lists filter in the workflow. This will exclude any accounts in my list from the search. And that's it. Now you know how to build your first search. I won't cover account search because this video is already long enough but it's pretty much the same process. It may take some time to master all the filters and Boolean searches, but once you fully understand Sales Navigator, you'll be able to create highly targeted lists in minutes. Even though the search engine is the most important feature in Sales Navigator, it's not the only useful tool. For example, when you're on an account page, there are many helpful tools. Once you click on an account in Sales Navigator, you will be taken to this page. From here, you can use the Relationship Explorer to search only within this company, and you can save these leads to a list. Next, you can add these leads to an account map. This is a way you can create your own map based on the importance levels of the company. This list will be saved in your Sales Navigator permanently. Next, let's scroll down to Growth Insights. From here, you can see information about about the company's headcount. You can see the number of employees in each department and how each department is growing. This information can be very valuable. For example, if you notice that their sales department is growing, you can conclude that maybe they would be interested in sales software or something similar. And if that's what you're selling, then bingo! On the same page, you can see the activity of the account and similar account suggestions, but nothing too important. Let's head up to the lead page now. You can access this page by clicking on any lead profile in Sales Navigator. At the top of the page, you can see when you last interacted with the user, which is useful to know. You also have the option to add this person to a list or write some notes about this lead. As you scroll down, you'll find more information and see the lead's activity. But most importantly, 
you can use the get introduced section where you can find common connections and get introduced. This approach can be helpful for breaking the ice with important leads. It's generally easier this way. To wrap up, Let's quickly talk about in-mails. In-mails are included with your Sales Navigator subscription. With the core version, you get 50 of them each month. In-mails allows you to send messages to anyone on the platform, whether you're connected with them or not. In-mails are very important and can lead to great opportunities. They're a valuable tool for lead generation, but since they're limited, use them carefully. All right, now you have everything you need to generate leads on Sales Navigator. Feel free to ask any questions in the comments and I'll be happy to answer. If you found value in this video, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.